Hey guys, it's Chris and I just want to come and give you a couple bathroom tips. Um, so this is for individuals that are planning a cruise that may not know about cruising or have never been on a cruise. So obviously, if you've cruised often, then you probably know these already. So this is for those that have not and do not know. So hopefully you find it helpful. Now, um, in our cabin and I'm gonna turn the camera around, but in our cabin, we have the one bedroom grand suite. And in this cabin, it comes with um, the Malin and Getz. It comes with the rum body wash, the peppermint shampoo, and the cilantro hair conditioner. Now these are very, very good smelling um, products. So I don't know much about Malin and Getz, but they have the smell spot on. I mean, it actually smells delicious, but. So um, now in the regular balcony inside in the ocean view cabins, you get body wash that you can also use as a shampoo. Not for sure if it's the exact brand, but you do, um, they do come equipped with body wash um, that seconds as a shampoo. Also, in all of the um, bathrooms here on the ship, you do get this little clothesline. And if you pull it out, it goes clean across to the other side and it you can use that to um, hang your swimsuit on if it's wet or any wet clothing or whatever. You can use to hang those items on and let them dry out. So that was a very thoughtful thing there. Now, um, all of your ships, if, um, if I'm not mistaken, every bathroom and every cabin that we've ever been in, um, we have not stayed in the inside cabin, nor have we stayed in an ocean view cabin before so i'm not sure about that but in the suites one bedroom suite the grand suite um, balconies and junior suites they all come with this um, shavers only outlet and to my knowledge that is the only outlet in the entire bathroom so um you can use and again it's a 120 and 230 volt um, sh for shavers. Now we purchased these little adapters, a European um, plug, and it converts to, you know, a regular American plug. It also has two USB ports there. And we purchased these on Amazon for like 20 bucks for two, I believe it was, but you can look on Amazon and find those. But it actually works perfect for that shavers only plug outlet. Now, um, let me take that out. Another suggestion for my personal likes and dislike is to make sure you bring you some type of um, hand soap. That's just an option. Um, the ship does give you uh, bar soap to use. Um, I personally don't like to use bar soap to wash my hands, but they do have that available for you. And they also give you, in the, in the, the suites, I know they give you um, some body moisturizer and then this again is from Malin and Getz and that's some really really good body wash I mean body moisturizer I wish they'd give me that in a full-size bottle um, I take that with me and they have um, this um, body lotion so I, I think those are complimentary to everybody I'm not a hundred percent sure maybe a different brand I don't know um, so those are just things you um, you may not have to bring. Like I say, the body wash and shampoo and conditioner, you don't have to bring those if you're in the suite because they will uh, provide that for you. They also provide hand sanitizer for you. So uh, if you ever need more hand sanitizer, I mean, there's plenty around the ship, you know, but you can always um, ask them for hand sanitizer. They also provide face mask if you um, need a face mask, you can ask them um, for face mask. You can always go to guest services as well and they will give you a face mask there. And another suggestion would be to bring you some air freshener. Um, doesn't have to be a huge bottle, it's just a little small can, but that air freshener, because I don't care who you are, I don't care who you are, 
Nature is going to happen eventually. Nature is going to happen and you may need some air freshener. Um, you can use that in the event you have guests come by your cabin, you know, freshen it up. Good. If your stateroom attendant comes in, you know, you want to use your air freshener, you know. Um, that's, that's just a suggestion for you. Now, over here I have the, we have these little duty wipes. And um, I guess it's the same as, you know, baby pamper wipes or something, whatever they're called. Um, but you can use these. They don't discourage them, but what they do ask is that you do not flush them in the toilet because there's, um, their septic system does not accommodate these type of wipes. Although they say flushable, you use that at home. You do not use them on the ship because you will clog up your toilet and it will cause a huge mess on the ship and we don't want that. As you can see here, it says flush toilet paper only please. And it says dispose of diapers, wipes, and anything else in the trash can. So they do have a tr trash can here for you in the bathroom. Um, that you, It's lined with plastic, so you can just dispose of anything in here. You need to what, wrap it in tissue and then dispose of it there. Um, so let's be responsible and do that. And I think that's, well, I have one other tip. So um, I purchased these little house shoes at the Dollar, Dollar Tree. I think that's the name of it, Dollar Tree. And they're perfect for walking around inside your cabin on your balcony and um, yeah um, I mean because you don't want to walk on I mean me personally they, they work for me um, I have some other house shoes at home but I didn't want to bring uh, my home house shoes and then bring them here and then carry those germs or whatever back home with me so I just purchased these little dollar I will say disposable house shoes, but they will last for a good two weeks or three weeks, however long you're here. Um, and then after that, you can just dispose of them. So, yeah, those are my tips for you. And, yeah, again, this is for those that um, are not familiar with cruising, are not familiar with, you know, some of the things on the cruise ship. If you cruise often, again, you may not need these tips. So in the meantime and in between time, I'll see you around the ship.